There we are, ladies and gentlemen, back with the grand final of the Legend series FIFA. Now I'm all on my own, not joined by any of these very keen, uh, very kind and nice players. Uh, they're all great dudes. I've been talking to them in the pauses. I've been talking to them even beforehand. Uh, I already told you I've been out with Brian yesterday, so great guys playing in the tournament. But we are awaiting the last game, the last final match. It's going to be a best of five series. And it's going to be Dr. Ohano going up against Brian Muyard. And yeah, I think it's going to be a very close game once again. We just saw that tight game between Ohano and his friend Flego. Which was just crazy, the second game with all the return goals, quick counter-attacks here and there. So, really enjoyable to watch. Also, the crowd outside, uh, we had some of the poker players that had a little smoke pause. They, they really enjoyed that as well. So, yeah, great venue once again. Thanks for the Holland Casino shout-out to them. Because without them, we couldn't be here with Big Betty. And also shout out to the WPT. If you're a poker player, maybe consider playing uh, in that as well, taking part in that. And overall, I'm just very happy with how it is running so far. The first FIFA event for ELC Gaming. The players are very relaxed. And once again, we get that wide-angled shot here. You can see how long Big Betty actually is, how massive that truck is, and... Up on the roof, that's the VIP area. That's going to be the area where I want to maybe join the players for a beer later on. But it's one last time, one last job for Brian and Dr. Ohano tonight. The winner of this game, the winner of this best of five series will take 1,000 euros with him. And might even spend some of that in the casino. If he's feeling lucky today, Brian already told us that he feels like this is a 50-50 situation. Doesn't matter to him against whom he's going up. But Aharno, after losing 2-0 to Brian in the first game of today, it, it seems just a little bit like he found back into his old form. He seems to be the Dr. Aharno that we know and that we follow for so many years in the FIFA scene now. And there's a nice high five. Fair play. The guys know each other. Also joking around. But yeah, it might be Manchester United versus Manchester United coming up. Because uh, Brian, from the start of the tournament, he already used Manchester United and just explained uh, what he likes about the team. Dr. Ohano seems to find his rhythm with the team as well. And it would be a leveled playing ground. It would be a very fair match with both players having the same team. And there we go. Jumping into the game. Starting off quite slow with a back pass towards the center backs. Dr. Hano really known for that kind of play style. And there's Shaw to Rashford. Mkhitaryan. And Ahano going for all these little passes, short distance passing here. Already building up the pressure in the box. Might this be a quick goal for Ahano? Not nailing the last pass. That's what he struggled with earlier against Brian. Here we see the counter attack starting to roll in. Mkhitaryan back towards Shaw. Losing some of that momentum that he had, but he couldn't really find the hole that he wanted to create in the defense of his opponent. Sean now looking for an opening. There we go. That's Lukaku to Pogba being dispossessed immediately. This means some build up time for Dr. Hano again. Valencia tries to cross it to the other side of the field. Now able to find his fellow teammate Bailey with another long ball so Aharno needs to do some kind of crosses in order to relieve the pressure but this looks like a very good breakaway Mkhitaryan now in the box trying to lay the pass back but stopped again 
from the start of the tournament, we've seen some very offensively, yeah, very uh, tight games in terms of the offense. We've seen some great goals, but the longer the tournament goes, I feel like the less offensive spark we find these players to use. There's Pogba. A lot of the action is in the midfield now, and also the defenses are just taking over very strong. Bailey just over the midfield line, and then we see a stop again. No foul in the situation. Mkhitaryan with the ball to Pogba. Well, we see the four defenders in place. Mkhitaryan just running over. Takes on the left wing. And it's very interesting to see that Ahano, for now, he can really stick to his playstyle. He can do it, and there we go. Just turning around, turning the corner with Romelu Lukaku, and then nailing the shot. But as I mentioned, a very solid build-up, controlled. And the Hano is the one to open up the scoring here. Ryan, Mr. Focus. I think that should be his nickname. He should maybe rename himself, call himself Mr. Focus. <laughs> Would definitely fit. Then go for the counter attack. It's Manchester United versus Manchester United. And Arhano in possession of the ball once again. 27 minutes already ran through. But as Brian just mentioned, it's so important to go for that second goal, have a little bit of a cushion that you can work with. Because with just one goal advantage, it's too easy for unexpected things to be in the middle of what you're planning. He's trying to create an attack. Erhano's defense seems to really have improved from the first game of the day until now. That's Martial going up, trying to nail the shot here. Not able to. And the defense on point. Erhano leaning forward heavily. <laughs> That's also very good to see that the players are not using the back of their chairs. Just falling to that typical gamer position. And, uh, long throw by David De Gea. And Hanna is looking once again to just go for a pass here, for a pass there. Don't lose possession. Just try to find the spot where you can put in the knife, hurt your opponent. Thread the needle through the hole, and that was a great long pass here to Lukaku. And not reaching out to his teammate, Mkhitaryan was the intended target. Martial and on the other side, Matic in possession, running down top of the screen. The left winger has to redraw just a little bit. Fellaini, Katarian. Well, that's exactly what I'm talking about. The defenders are just so close. That's a very good man coverage here. And Shaw with the cross to the other side. <laughs> Quite a cheeky play here towards the back defender. Central back. Slowing down the pace once again. Pogba. Valencia, maybe if you tick out the time here in this first half, you might just be able to push in one last attack and then uh, you could have just given the ball over to the opponent or let your attack result in a goal, which would have then ended the half. But Brian was able to get the ball back. And so we do have a foul setting us up with a nice crossing position here. And Pogba will be trying to find the head of the tall, grown Fellaini. Or even...
the Lukaku and the cross is coming in and it's resulting in a goal finding the head of Pogba who is also a very tall grown player and yes here I am <laughs> still inside of Big Betty one to one the score line a very close first game for now a very good first half not too many goals though and also not too many chances, but the chances we had, they were beautiful and they were taken very well. Brian with the eyes wide open. Like a tiger, just wanting to snack on his prey. Fellaini, the back post to Bailey. I feel like it's not going to be that as easy as it was in the first match where these two players met. Oh, the pass not reaching its target because the Man United player was just delayed by the defender. Obviously, both teams are playing Man United, so. <laughs> Mikitarian, but the ball is intercepted. Arhana in white, Brian in red. Trying to find an opening here. Actually, the back pass to the keeper. He isn't allowed to take it into the hands. Because it was not a back pass with the head. It was by foot. And we have a great play. A nice setup here. A lot of players are joining in on the attack for Ahano. He's still trying to go for the shot with Lukaku. The counter attacks so far are taken very slowly by the players here. So, not really running through as we've seen from Richie. Every time they could be doing something like that, they are always drawing back. But this might create a situation here for Brian, who's not quite able to score. But that was very risky defending from Dr. Ahana, who's lucky in that situation to not be punished by a goal of his opponent. Now has to try to build up another attack here, but broken down in midfield once again. Back and forth, back and forth. That's how we play in the sliding tackle. Attempted here. Maybe he was even attempting to kill his opponent because that was with a lot of speed. Just flying in there. Pogba with the chance to maybe shoot but very nice anticipation you could see how ohana was using shaw from the top of the screen to run down all the way and he really saw the hole already opening up in his own defense because obviously the rest of the players they are steered by the pc ohana can only directly use one player you can use commands like l2 or or uh other buttons as well to call for help for another player so you're not only steering one player at a time but it's one player with all functions to use for you at once so a very great play defensively by Arhano because this could have already been the lead for Brian But Ryan is not letting loose. Still tightening his grip around the defense of Arhano. Now with Martial. Passing back to Matic. Broken up. So finally a chance to break away for Arhano. But he only has three players with him. Putting the ball back to Marcus Rashford. Nearly being dispossessed here. Drawing it back to the midfield area once again. Had to wait a long time until all the players arrived. And finally he has some nice attack going up. And Marshall with the plays that he needs to maybe set up a cross. But not quite able to. But still, Arhano is in possession. 1-1 one to one the scoreline. Don't forget that. So the players still need a goal. Or we might go into overtime for the first time today. A yellow card for Brian. But that should not be a big handicap here for our Belgian player. 
Dr. Ahana now taking his time for this cross. Really considering all these options, he tries to make a run for it and actually scores on this free kick situation once again. He really seems to be the master of the standard situation, but he's like, oh, okay, I don't even know what happened there. I tried to do something, but I planned it in another way. But in the end, it still worked. He scores a goal 2-1. to one. And just look at this. Matic and Shaw both not able to do anything with the ball. And David De Gea as well. He's just helpless in the goal. He's not looking like a real goalkeeper in that. But anyway, that's quite a good situation. Being so late in the game, Dr. Ahana leading by just one goal. But at least he's leading. Martial now, the counter-attack, Mkhitaryan with a nice cross and that's immediately returned by Brian. So we have that exact situation we're talking about all day. The kickoff goals have to be nerfed just a little bit. Brian, he was wishing for a patch, but this time uh, it's running in his favor as he was the one to go for the equalizer here. But doing it immediately, Martial back to Fellaini. So Ahana was immediately dispossessed. While fighting back for the ball. It's still Brian in the possession. 2-2-2 two, two, two now to score line. Matic, Fellaini, Valencia. And he's trying to run for it. At least gets the throw in for his team. And there's a lot of space in the box. For Brian, but Ohano still able to break down the play. The pass intercepted once again in midfield area. But this is a great game to watch. Both players really playing at their best. You can see that Mikitarian is now through with the ball. Going for another quick break. But the ball even stopped before. Going out over the line. Marshall, Mikitaria. Lukaku, can he go for it? No, he can't. He's stopped by Bailey. Shaw with the back pass towards David De Gea. He's going for a long ball, but this is not going to be successful. Just landing in the hands of Dr. Rahano here. So, Valencia. Dr. Ohano, the surgeon of FIFA, once again trying to set himself up in a favorable position, but I think this will go into overtime unless something crazy happens. Pogba on the sideline trying to make something work here. Ohano has to be quick if he wants to do something before, uh, before the final whistle of regulation time opens up. There we go. For the first time of today, we will see the classic overtime. Dr. Rahano versus Brian Muyard. It's the first game of the best of five series in the grand final of the Legend Series FIFA. So a lot of great action is still ahead for us. Uh, for us. Uh, the first game already a stunner. So I'm very much looking forward to what towards what the players are going to deliver. But still, Orhano looking relaxed. But it was a very tightly contested game. Brian focus. So the players are changing up a little bit in terms of the strategy, in terms of the formation. But here we go. It's the end of regulation. We are in the overtime with a score of 2-2-2. Two to two. If the tie is going to stand, we will be going into the penalty shootout. But I'd rather have somebody decided here. Because the penalties really are a 50-50 situation. But for now, Arhano back with the ball. Passing it over towards Shaw. With the ball on his feet, trying to create open spaces for his teammates. Finding Juan Mata. 
Bar now in the middle. Ramata was substituted. A very good pass to Lindgaard, and he might be able to score. Dr. Hano in overtime, scoring the third goal for his side. 3 to 2 the score line. Very well done by Dr. Ohano here. Able to score with the players that he just substituted. Matic now in possession. Juan Mata losing the ball. Ten minutes already passed in this overtime. There's Martial losing the ball as well, and I'm not really sure, but yeah, it's the keeper's ball. I wasn't really sure about who touched it last, but it had to be one of Brian's teammates. Pogba now with another quick pass to Mata. Wow, very nice pass. Threading the needle. Through a tiny hole between two players. And there's a foul just outside of the box. And once again, it's time for the magician at free kicks. It is time for Dr. Ohana to show something special. But that wasn't too special. Just a short pass. Then going for the cross, which was taken out by David De Gea. Just punching away the ball. There's Juan Mata down the sideline. Of the left wing. Oh, actually, with nice dribbling, able to get some distance between him and the defender. But this is the end of the first half of overtime. 3 2 2, the score line for Dr. Ohano. The players in the zone, in the focus. Once again, take a look at the trophy that we will be handing out right after this best of five series. The beautiful scenery here in Falkenburg. That's Rashford. A great attack coming up from Brian. 108 minutes already played. Corner kick coming in. Fellaini with a dangerous header. And Arhano's waiting for the time to tick off the clock. And the great forward pass into the running of Lindgaard. But still, Brian is able to dispossess his opponent off the ball. Valencia sprinting forward. Pogba with the ball, Fellini. Rashford to Matic. Very quick passes here. One touch football. Nearly able to hold on to possession in the box of his opponent. Mata now, Dr. Ohano, if he would be able to create another goal. Oh, that was a great goal, but offside. What I wanted to say is the second goal here might be the decider if Ohano would be able to get it. But for now, he's the defending side, Matic, trying to create something for Brian. Fellaini, this pass might be intercepted, just very close. Matic, possession once again, Pogba now. Able to maybe get a good pass going, he might shoot, and actually this is the equaliser. There we go, he's worked for it very hard, and we might just go to the penalties. There's just a minute left to play in the second half of the overtime. And this score by Pogba might seal the deal. But don't forget, after the kickoffs, there's a lot of momentum with the side that actually kicks off. And Dr. Ohano might be able to create something from this. Intercepted. So it's Brian once again on the attack. Herrera with a great pass forward. And actually, what is this? A great goal by Pogba, scoring even after the opponent scored one minute left in the overtime. But just going for a counter-attack and Pogba on the other side scoring as well. 
And this has to be it. That's, that's the victory for Ohano. I just can't see it happening for Brian anymore. There's just not much. Yeah, the time is running out. Time was the biggest factor here. And so taking the first game to overtime, Dr. Ohano in the end still wins with a scoreline of 4-2. to two, But that was very close. And I expect nothing less for the next games to come up. <laughs> that, was, that was just a crazy game to start a best of five series with. Because the first game, so exhausting already. And we might see a different outcome in the next games to come. Once again, Ohano with the players in the white jerseys. Shaw now in possession, Rashford and Ohano. Maybe he also find, uh, found a way now to get it going. And there's just another goal. So Ohano seems to be in the mood of some scoring here. Maybe found the way to play against Brian. With some very neat passing here. Able to score a quick first goal. Rashford in the fourth minute. And that's a statement to open up the second game for this best of five. And another long ball towards Martial. With a cross that's easily picked up by David De Gea. Now Brian on the attack again, but broken up easily. That was not a good pass, just an easy interception for Rohano. Mkhitaryan back to Matic, and this only means that Rohano now has the time the, that he needs to set up his game, to build up his controlled play style, to take a slow approach towards the opponent's goal. But being stopped now. Possession-wise, Arhano is leading in this early stage of the game. But actually opening up a hole in the defense. That was not intended. Leaving a chance to Brian. And the short cross not landing in the back of the net. Fortunately for Arhano. Once again, crossing over to the other side of the pitch. Rashford, Shaw. Just very good to see how controlled Ahana can really play this. And he's keeping it up, and there's the cross, but saved by De Gea. A very nice header, positioned very well, but just a stunning parade. Even holding on to the ball, securing it, and so not allowing another striker to maybe take a chance, take a shot, create a goal. So at least the keeper is still doing a good job here for Brian. Dispossessed once again. Poor Pogba, this might be quick. Arhano is switching it up a little, going for the long balls. Very surprising attacks. Rashford now, another long ball towards the strikers, creating a lot of space. Five players versus three. Has some backup, Rashford is there again, and Mikitari are not able to go past the defenders. With some close contact, was not able to create a laser shot. And Brian now, he has to show us that he can still play that offensive style that he has shown all day long. But the quick passes for now, the game is really slowed down, but in the end, still, just as I wanted to criticize Brian a little bit, he proves me wrong, scores another goal. And what I wanted to say is that Erhano is just able to shut down all the aggression of his opponent. But in exact that moment, Brian is able to score leaving us with a tied game once again one to one the score line and i just love this shot seeing the players staring at the monitor the trophy in the middle of it all and lukaku now quick passing once again trying to find a shot here but there's just no room for that 
setting the ball up for striker in the middle. Unable to find the teammates. But Arhano really impresses me with his playstyle now. This is the kind of game that he likes to play. Slow controlled football. He really cons controls the moves of his opponent. And then is able to create spaces for himself. But not this time. Actually losing ball in his own half. Setting up Brian with a corner situation. But dispossessing him immediately. Very nice tackling here. And the ball crosses the line. So it's going to be David Tejia's ball. Chris Smalling, long pass, nearly broken up. There we go, Lukaku once again. Rashford, Mikitarian. Oh, that's a very good attempt right here. Try to sneak in a little skill move into the game. Fellaini. Valencia now. Brian still has to find the holes in Arhano's defense. If you just look at that zone coverage here, that's just very well placed. And that's not easy to do, because you're always putting one player out of the line, and you put him somewhere else, and then uh, that really damages the whole system. But Arhano is able to contest the ball and still leave the players in the spaces where they're needed. Once again, against that brick wall, there's just no coming through. Still, Brian is trying his best to find a way through such a tough defense. With a back pass to Fellini, and there we have one versus one situation. But the pass is just too close, and too many defenders standing around the ball. Victoria unable to still be in possession tunneling his own teammate here. Valencia crossing over to the other side. Once again, forcing the opponent to shift over. Quick passes. Mkhitaryan is running into the box, but not receiving the ball. Now that means the end of the first half. Brian is still smiling, even though it's a very tough game for both of these players. Arhano and Brian looking to show us another great half of FIFA. So the second half just coming up in a couple of seconds. There we go, already jumping in. It's Brian to start off with possession. Shaw now passing to Matic. Marshall. There's an open man on top of your screen, and there's the score. Easy peasy, 2-2-1. Two, two, That's the scoreline, Mkhitaryan. Nice shot, so Brian is leading once again. Erhano this time, what I was talking about earlier once again, not able to, uh, to have the left back in his position this time. So, even though I said he's... Very solid in defense, this time creating a hole here. But trying to return the goal, and he's able to, but that was offside, I guess. Uh, I think Lukaku was just behind the defenders when the first shot came loose. So no equalizer for Dr. Ohano. But he's trying to disturb his opponent, tries to go for some very aggressive pressing. Valencia to Fellaini. Martial now to Mkhitaryan, who just scored a goal. Will he be able to create another chance for his team? Not this time. Another short corner coming in. Valencia. This time running into the box. Corner coming up. But it's Martial to receive the corner and he's just not tall enough. Against that Man United defense. And another quick break away. A very long pass. 
Well, in the end, the play is broken up. Lukaku to Pogba. Martial. Oh, and fouled! This is going to be a penalty. Arjano, with some tackling that you don't want to do inside of your own box, setting up Brian with a great chance of scoring here. And he's going for a shot to the upper left corner, nailing it. A very nicely executed penalty shoot here. And that means a two-goal lead for Brian. Arjano switching something around in the tactics once again, not sticking to just a single formation. 57 minutes are already played. Valencia now in possession, maybe going for the cross. Not this time. Turning around. Passing back to Mkhitaryan. And the play is broken up once again. So far I've only been focusing on what Arjano is doing in this game. I was talking about him shutting up or shutting down the offence of his opponent, really slowing down the pace of the game, just at least a little bit. And also having a good zone coverage, keeping the players in place. But overall, Brian is also doing a great job. Very solid play on all sides, not creating a lot of room in the back line of his defence. So he's making it tough for Ohan, who might be able to just find a gap right here. With Martial. Oh, very nice back heel pass towards Lukaku. And another pass coming in, I feel, once again, that was one pass too many. Arjano not going for the risk of taking the shot here. It could have been 3-2. The ball back to the goalie now. But Ryan immediately regains possession. Football creating something. We don't see a lot of crosses. Uh, both players are trying to run into the box before crossing from the inside, okay, so we, we do see some crosses, but always from the inside of the box. They're not taking a lot of crosses from the outside, creating another nice chance here. Four to one, that's a statement. Brian is really putting on the pressure in this game. So probably, as this might already be over, this is probably going to be a one-to-one -one score line in the best of five. Shaw now, once again. <laughs> Every time you you have the ball, you have the build up. I feel like Shaw's always in the mix. On the other side, Valencia is not as heavily used. Rashford now, Arjano still trying to make something out of this game with 12 minutes left on the clock. It's going to be difficult, but if he can create a chance here, he might still be able to. And he's actually through with Marshall, scoring a goal, 4 to 2. So still 10 minutes. We've, we've already seen four goals within 10 minutes today, so it might happen. The chance is still there. So Brian has to be careful, has to watch out. And he's going for controlled passing for himself. Back to Shaw once again. Pogba. Oh, the play broken up. But the ball can't be controlled by the players of Dr. Ahano. De Gea actually 
Going out, going for a great pass, and that was not offside. Mkhitaryan already behind the defenders, but doesn't seem to be quick enough to leave them behind. So Mkhitaryan once again receives the ball, goes for the cross from outside the box. Not successful this time. Great long pass, five minutes on the clock. I'm going to watch that closely. But the play broken up in midfield. Mkhitaryan running, almost exhausted to the maximum. Rashford with the ball. Another long ball forward, Lukaku. That's Mkhitaryan who's running, trying to gap behind the defenders, not quite able to. And the time is ticking. One minute left on the clock. It's not going to be enough. Not this time. Arhano tried, but Ryan is just holding on to the ball very tightly. Another last try here, probably coming in Rashford now with the ball. Play broken up once again, and I expect the referee to go for the whistle. So the scoreline is now 1-1 one to one between the two players, Erhano and Brian, delivering a very good game here. Deservingly, this is the grand final of the Legend Series FIFA. And they're just setting themselves straight. Just the same as I do. It's very comfy here in front of Big Betty. I really like casting here. And something unusual. But there we go, back into business. Game number three, scoreline one to one between the players, zero zero in this game. Chris Smalling with the cross and another quick goal. This time it's for Brian. Already scored four goals in the last game. And this one is opened up with a very quick one as well. So Marshall scoring early on. Rahane looking to return. With Pogba, a long ball towards the right wing. Marshall with a nice cross. And Pogba with a long range shot, actually hitting the frame of the goal. Woo! That almost paid off here for Dr. Ohana, who's now taking the chances. Ohana trying to get possession, and he does. But still, the defenders are there, but not able to stop him within the limits of uh, of the rule book so another free kick coming up for Ahano always watch them closely because they might be special this time another cross coming in but defended very well by Brian uh, Ahano looking for the point here where we will see the ball being put Actually, a short pass then resulting in another cross coming in. Creating another danger dangerous situation 10 minutes into the game. Looking to create a goal. Rashford. Pogba. No running room. Oh, very nice back heel pass. That was very quick. Off guard and the shot! Oh, just wide. Just centimeters of the goalpost. And I think that uh, on the top left screen you can see the best of five score, but I think that's incorrect. It's 1 to 1, not 2 0 for Ahano, because Brian won the last game. So that score line will be fixed within the next seconds. This time is Brian, who's already leading, going for another attack, but stopped. Once again, midfield, no danger. Uh, there might be a possibility of a quick pass towards the right wing. But 
Cardano is still looking to find a recipe that he wants to use against Brian. A long cross coming in play, broken up by Arhano. Matic with the yellow card, finding space, but not finding another goal. That should have been it. Martial with the shot. How can you miss that? I don't think that's Brian's fault. I really think that's uh, yeah, part of the game. Because even if you have a player with a 99 rating on shooting and all the attributes that belong to that, you still have a tiny margin of shots going wrong. And that's calculated in the back of the game all the time. Also, still, to me, it's, it's a miracle how you can program a game that's so realistic, so close to the real sport. Still miraculous to me. Also, with the VR games and with all the VR technology on the rise right now, it's games are just moving forward and they're developing so quickly that you just can't believe what's happening. Also, if you want to join in on the experience, you can join our VR area upstairs here in the Holland Casino, at least if you're watching the stream now from the facilities or from outside of Big Betty. Unfortunately for the viewers on stream, you won't be able to, to do that. But that's actually a very nice scenery upstairs because we have some gaming stations there. You can play FIFA as well as Street Fighter and also use the VR. But Erhana trying to go for the chip shot here and putting the hand to his face because maybe he should have just gone for a regular shot. But at least he tried. That was the best chance for him in this game. Shaw now running with the ball, trying to get the pass on to Lukaku. But the play broken up once again. Arhana not able to build it up. But in the end still he retains possession. Marshall now on the right wing. Trying to find the teammate, helping him out. Matic in the middle to Pogba again. Pogba dancing around with the ball at his feet. A nice cross coming in, but Lukaku is stopped by a defender standing in the way. Falling down to the ground, not able to reach the ball. De Gea is the first one to grab it down, pick it up from the ground. And a very good cross up front here. But, oh, stopping the ball on the line, but then going towards the sideline, leaving Arhano with a throw in. And he's just going to throw it to Pogba, who's the last defending man in that situation. Matic passing to Rashford. Very nice holes created. That's very quick. You need some very good thinking, a very quick brain in order to really know where the players are going, be, uh, are going to be. So Arhano, definitely skilled as well as Brian who is still leading by a goal in this third game of the best of five series. And once again, I think it will take a couple of minutes until we see some breakout plays again, until we see the goals coming in. Because the first half is always very tightly contested and then there's that one point in the game where both players just start to score a couple of goals in just a couple of minutes. Oh, very nicely taken with the foot here. Mkhitaryan now in front of the goal, not going for the shot, trying to once again go for a cheeky pass. Not able to nail it though. Lukaku, Matic, Martial. There we go, Tiki Taka. Everybody is invited to the Spanish party. Bailey breaking up the play. Ah, but that was a foul. Very quick free kick. Pogba now in possession. And that should be it for the first half of game number three. Scoreline still 1 to 0. And Brian is keeping up the pressure. But Ahano hasn't given up.
at least not now. Once again about the stories of the players. Brian, one of the best players from Belgium. Arhano, one of the best players from Germany. Brian is currently playing for the Diffuse Kids, a quite well-known esports organization. And Arhano is playing for the VFB Stuttgart, which used to be a football club in Germany in the first league for quite some time, but they were demoted, I think that's already two years ago when they had to go through demotion to the second league. But still, they are a very well-known team in Germany. And it's also good to see that a lot of teams are joining in to eSports with FIFA. Even though FIFA might not be the biggest eSports, but there's the goal for Ahano. Scoring for his VFB here, but with the help of Manchester United. Once again, Romelu Lukaku, one of the best strikers in the game. Going for the equaliser. So I just heard something from the production, but I just couldn't understand that. So it might be important. That's why I mentioned that. In the meanwhile, we see another attack coming in from Arhano. Oh yeah, actually, oh the information that I got at <laughs> the VFB uh, is in the in this first league again. Yeah, definitely. How could I miss that? I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> it's late. But yeah, it's important. They were demoted and they were just promoted again. Yeah, I'm not following the, the football scene too much, I gotta admit. But even better for Dr. Ohana, who's trying to once again build up a nice attack here. Brian now controlling the play in the midfield area. Once again, it's Shaw. But everybody's covered. There's just no place to get something done. Two people even on Lukaku here. Still managing to get the pass away. Shaw to Matic. Oh, and turning around with a nice pass. Just so many men in white dresses here. But still, somehow, Brian is able to get something done. In the end, still broken up for Dr. Ohano, who then on the other side gives up on possession again. 70 minutes on nearly through. So this game might be going into overtime again. That would actually be crazy after such a solid game two for Ryan Mouillard. Possession for Dr. Ohano. I think that Brian's play style is very similar to Arhano's here. He's also controlling very well and his passing. I think that's really standing out for, for Brian. He's a, a fabulous passer. Very good, very controlled, even though he, he has sometimes has to put these passes into very tight spots. He's always able to find his target. Breaking up the play. And that's uh, something that you really need as a FIFA player. As we've already noticed earlier with our wildcard player, with Richie, he's a very good attacker, but you also need to be very good defensively. And on top of that, you have to be a good passer, you have to be a good shooter. So many skills that are requested from this game. 78 minutes are passing through. Ahano in possession of the ball, going for a long pass. Play broken up, ball back to De Gea. And we're taking a little break. It's going to be interesting to see what the players are changing up. Once again, it's going to be Arhano. He's the player with the most pauses today.
that's for sure. So there's definitely an award going out to that. And he's shaking his head. I wonder if everything is working fine. I hope so. But we should be all right and good to go in a couple of seconds. I just want to know what he changed. I'm really keen on knowing that. But there we go. Oh, it's a substitution. So Marshall going out and Lindgaard coming in once again. Remember, he already scored a goal earlier today with Lindgaard. Brian still holding on to the same personnel. There's Pogba with some very nice dribbling. That was not offside. Lindgaard has the ball at his feet. Creating some room there because he's drawing the attention of three defenders and the shot gets off. But doesn't reach the goal. Picked up from David De Gea once again. Lukaku. Matic. And this might be a chance to score for Brian. Not quite able to do it though. De Gea throwing the ball very long. Vegetarian in midfield. Oh, what was that? That was not supposed to happen like this. Very quick pass to the goalkeeper. Now what Ahana should try to do is let the clock run down a little bit. Don't go for the risk that your opponent might counter you out. And now we're hitting the 90 minute mark. Two minutes of added time. Now he's taking the risk of going for another attack, but the play is broken up in the box. But somehow Chris Smalling gets the position of, uh, possession of the ball. And the pass to Lindgaard, who's just not quick enough, but in the end still comes up with the ball to his feet. And there's Pogba. The passes are coming in, and that was so close. Lukaku was so close to the ball, but in the end, it's going to be 1-1 one, one after regulation time. So once again, for the second time in this best of five series, it's going to be Brian going up against Arjano in the overtime. And yeah, my name is Marvin. Hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, once again, thank you very much to all the supporters, all the viewers. Holland Casino, that's the venue where we are at right now. We're actually on, yeah, on the back side of the casino, but right in front of the, the facilities. Today we had a wonderful day. So Big Betty was really shining in the sun and it's a great place to be still enjoying it still watching some great fifa here valencia now on his way will this game be decided in overtime once again or are we going into the penalty shootout that's going to be a very important question five minute already passed here pogba to matic once again straightforward passing Vegetarian, Lukaku, that's a very good attack. But that was not really a shot attempted here. That was a cross that was blocked by a defender. So not a tough job for De Gea. Lindgaard, the substituted man. Uh, been used here. In the attack, Matic receiving the ball, Mkhitaryan has a chance to shoot, but this is Lukaku turning around, turning around for the goal, just hitting the post, but only the inside of the goal post, and then the ball just falls into the net. Very nicely done, but he had a lot of space in the middle of the box there. Still a great job by Dr. Ohano. The first overtime went in his favor. Is he going to be able to take the second one as well? He might be going up to a scoreline overall 2-1 two to one against the strong performing Brian Mouillard from Belgium here. De Gea to Shaw. Mm. 
Matic. Is Ryan going to be able to stop this attack? One central back is not in position. That might be creating a couple of holes here. Romelo dancing around, but Ryan breaking up the play. And this is already the end of the first half of regulation. We've seen nine shots have been taken from Ahano in the game overall. Creating some chances for himself by the very tight scoreline, 2-1. Two, two, and the players once again are changing their formations. There you can see one of the people watching the game walking in front of Big Betty. Very nice camera shot here. This is it. This is our setting on Big Betty. Tomorrow we will show the finals of the University League here in the Netherlands. That's going to start at 2 o'clock. So you can also join us on that. Dr. Ahano looking very happy. He's a goal up in overtime. And just two more victories away from being the winner of the first ever Legend Series FIFA. But Brian seems to take his time right now, considering his options taking everything into consideration. And he's just not taking this lightly. He's really focusing. He's been the most dedicated player out of the four that we invited. One of them actually was sick. That's why Richie, the machine, had to jump in. And he did a good job. So once again, shout out to you, Richie. And actually, Brian just starting the second half and immediately creating danger. This time we will see another corner coming in. Already 108 minutes passed. Bailey with the corner kick and that might be working out but it's cleared by Dr. Ahano. It's going to be a throw in the ball, rolling over the sideline. Still, Brian in possession. Rashford. Advantage being played by the referee. Mkhitaryan to Lukaku. Was that offside or not? It wasn't, but whoa! Very good clearance here. That could have been the goal for Brian. The time is still ticking, but so is the attack from the Belgian. Lukaku now with all the time in the world waiting for his teammates to join him, but nobody really seems to want to score anymore. They really seem reluctant to go forward. There's Lindgaard. Oh, trying to turn around, but being covered from the back. Handing over the ball to the, board, uh, to the opponent. Shaw trying to go for a sliding tackle. That's opening up a hole on the right side. Mkhitaryan with everything he's got left. He's trying to create this and actually there's a possibility to score a goal. And that was so close. Oh my god, so many awkward situations here. Ohano opening up a hole. And then... Brian just trying to somehow get that ball into the goal, but not quite able to. That was very close and very lucky for Ohano. Still, Brian not able to really control and really design his attacking play. A long pass once again in towards the territory of Ryan. And Ahano has the ball. There's no added time in the second half of overtime, so he can just go for some controlling passes. 2-1 to one the score line. There's nothing to lose for Ahano here, but he's even going for another attack, so he might even add one. 
because there are not many players standing in the back. And it's even going to be another corner. Game is still going on. Short pass, creating another shot, creating another chance, creating another goal. There we go, Juan Mata scoring as well, 3-1, to one, and that's it, that's closing it out. Brian's just kicking the ball away, and that should be it. Somehow the referee doesn't want to end the game, but there we go. So 2-1 to one in favour of Dr. Ohano. And that's interesting, that's very interesting, because after such a dominant performance in the second game by Brian, I felt like he might be taking over. But Ahana once again taking the game to overtime. Going for his slow approach, for the slow play style. Trying to outmaneuver his opponent. And in the end, he's victorious. He's able to. So, match point for Ohano from now on. player for the German first league team. Still sorry for that, ladies and gentlemen, for the VMB Stuttgart. But yeah, Arhano already been around for a long time, played Pro Evolution Soccer before going over to FIFA. Also used to play on Xbox, but then switched to PS4. Uh, PlayStation only was PS3 back in the day. Yeah, he's playing for a very long time. Personally, I met him in 2015 at the ESL Championships because they played FIFA, StarCraft 2, Hearthstone and even another game. I think there was a fourth game as well. Might have been League of Legends. I think it was League of Legends. And definitely Counter-Strike. Might have even been five games, but that doesn't matter. That's when I met him for the first time and we both won in our discipline. And then we were just hanging out, had a beer together, and I realized, oh, that's a nice dude. That's a cool FIFA player. And he told me a little bit about his story. And he was way more experienced than I was uh, at this point. It was the start of my career, so to say. And he'd already been around for quite some time. But still, good to know that he's around. And I uh, contacted him for this tournament because I was also the one to, to organize that. And I was like, oh, uh, Arhano. Could you help me out? I, I need some good FIFA players, preferably out of the Netherlands or Belgium. And he said, yeah, I know. I know all of them. And he gave me a couple of names. Once again, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and yeah, the production is telling me uh, something else, but I still can't hear it. It just... Oh, five minutes break. So the players are requesting for a break. That means we will see one another after a quick break. Ah, there we are, back with the Legend Series FIFA. We're already in the grand final. It's Brian Mouillard going up against Dr. Ahano. The score is 2-1 to one in favor of Dr. Ahano. But still, it's far from over. Anything can happen. And I just want to quote Flego, who said, everything is possible in FIFA 18, and uh, it definitely seems so, because we had two games already taken into overtime. Dr. Hane was able to decide both of them for him, but we had the second game in between of them, which was a clear victory, 4-1, if I remember that correctly, 4 to 1 or 4 to 2, that doesn't really matter. It was a dominant performance from Brian. So, can't predict anything right here. Still looking forward to see a great game. And definitely, we've seen some very tightly contested uh, FIFA out of these players. Also, Brian coming into the event as one of my surprises, at least today. I didn't, I didn't realize that he's such a good FIFA player that he can really hold on to the level that Dr. Ahano is playing. Also, Flago is exactly in the same area as well. So, a great tournament. Once again, I'm, I'm really proud of that. And whoever's going to win, um, 
he's going to be happy as well because there's a thousand euros up for grabs. Winner takes it all. There's also a nice trophy. I don't know if we can take a shot on the trophy right now. The players are still setting themselves up on stage, but uh, I tell you, there's a trophy, <laughs> so you got to believe me. And yeah, that's that's just great. And also in the scenery, you can see the truck once again. There we go. That's the shot of the trophy. Because we are hosting all our tournaments on Big Betty on our show truck. That's why we designed such a hubcap as a trophy. And I think it's fitting very well. Funny story, just to tell. Uh, we had the winner of the Legend Series Counter-Strike number two. Uh, the winner team was Isuba. They actually took that trophy and they just put that on their wheel. They, like... They still had the rest of the tire as well, but they just put it on, plugged it in with some... I don't know how they did it, but they were able to really stuck it on that. And then they just took it for a couple of meters. But it was, it was a funny thought. Nobody had done it before them. But that's how they treat our trophies. Happens. <laughs> okay. In the end, I think everything is set. Everything is set as well. We are going into game number four of this best of five series. A scoreline 2-1. to one. Dr. Ahano is leading. And he's looking to secure his victory. Once again, Dr. Ahano in the white dresses. Going up against the red jerseys from Brian. Who's putting on some pressure here, but fisted away by David De Gea. So the sides of the players are incorrect right now. Uh, Brian is playing on the left-hand side and Arhano is on the right. So don't get confused by these ladies and gentlemen. A very neat pass to Fellaini. Mkhitaryan in the mix as well. And Rojo to Pogba. Martic, this is... Very quick play once again. The cross from outside the box. Actually putting the goalkeeper into work. And Pogba against Pogba. Both players are using Manchester United. Ahano was starting the tournament with Real Madrid. But he made a switch. And realized that... His performance might be just a bit better with Manchester United. Bailey to Pogba, Rashford now. But everything is very well covered. The players are now switched as well. So Arhano playing on the right side in the white dresses. That's all correct. Brian chasing the ball right here with two men trying to dispossess his opponent. And actually able to regain possession after this header. With some short passes, setting himself up with a shooting position, but only hitting the defender, so the ball is deflected and goes besides the goal. 20 minutes passed already in this game number four. Matic trying to go for a long ball. Not connecting, but because of some very tight contest, Martial is still able to force the dispossession once again. Pogba to Valencia. To Martial once again. Martial with the cross coming in. But once again, picked out of the air by David De Gea. Rojo to Shaw, who's missing the ball, but receives some help from Pogba. Brian's still in possession of the ball, and he can make something happen. Three versus four situation. He's just running with Marshall. Can he find a position to get the shot off? Not really. Dispossessed by Arhano. 
Shaw is again trying to go for pass here. Matic, Rashford. And the Hana will also look to create the first chance for himself in that game. Rashford now with a great pass to Lukaku. And it's a great chance. It's a shot. And it's a goal finally. Martial is the one to score. He was in the way of the first shot just a little bit, even though David De Gea was also able to touch that. But in the end, not offside, able to secure this goal for Dr. Ahano. And that means he's leading in the match point game. It's going to be all over if Ahano wins this. Dr. Ahano might then be our winner of the first ever Legend Series FIFA. But this is Brian now with some neat passing, but putting the ball over the crossbar. That was looking very good, a very well designed attack from Brian. But in the end, he can't reward himself with a goal. Lukaku. Oh, look at these passes coming in from both of the players. Pogba dancing with the ball. And a very sick volley out of Arjano here trying to go for the shot with Mkhitaryan. But there's the counter-attack. Lukaku very quick on his feet. Pogba with the cross. Marshall open hitting the goal post not nailing the shot once again this seems to be a very unlucky game for Brian it's really building up to be one of these games that you just think I, I did not really do a lot of mistakes I did not play bad but somehow it just didn't clip Valencia to Pogba again Martic Mkhitaryan and Lukaku is waiting but he can't find a hole in a solid defense from Brian. We've seen that all day long. Both players still. Props to them. They're keeping up the concentration. Short passes. Interception by Fellaini. Marcel. Has a chance to shoot. But the defender gets a foot in the way. Two minutes of added time in this first half. And the ball lands at the feet of Marcel. But he's not able to score a goal once again. And Brian is starting to be frustrated. That's not the focus. That's the first time that I take a look at his face and I don't see him focused. I actually see him frustrated. Well, I can definitely understand that because so far... It's just not been working for him. He had the better chances in this game. It could have already been a 3-1 uh, three scoreline. Instead, it's 1-0 with the advantage in Arjado's hands. Both players chatting, talking about what's happening here. Once again, very friendly surroundings. The players are competing, but they're competing with friendship. Bailey in possession now. After the switch of sides, Arjano is now to your left. Some nice passing here with Valencia going for a quick pass up front. Turning around. Three defenders to cover him. Only two left. But not quite able to create enough distance and enough space in order to set up a passing attack. Fellaini, oh, that was looking very good. Very controlled, very smooth pass. De Gea to Valencia. So Brian just missing on a couple of these tackles here. Still tightly contesting Popba. Faster than anybody else. Lukaku in the middle! And it's in the back of the net once again. 
very efficient from Dr. Ohanu, using one of the few chances that he has in this game. Or that he had until now, at least. But he's really bringing on the heat, creating trouble for Brian. Leading 2-1 to one in the overall score, leading 2-0 in what might be the final game of the Legend series. And Rashford once again with a lot of green grass in front of him. No defenders in his way, but it was Valencia who could pick up the pace and be as quick as the attacker. Lukaku looking for somebody to pass the ball on to. It's going to be a long one towards the middle and actually Lukaku has the ball again. This time De Gea able to manage to get the ball out of danger. And the cross coming in. Not finding the head of Lukaku this time. Fellini. Counter attack coming in. Dispossession in midfield. Pogba to Mikitarian. He has the room to shoot. And with a finesse shot. Arhano was trying to get another go. 3 0 might already be deciding it. And the ball is to the feet of. I think that was Pogba or might even be Valencia. No, it was Marcel. So Marcel with the number 11. Not able to get enough power behind that shot to really put it in the back of the net. And Ahana finds himself in a defending position right here with a sliding tackle, really zoning out the options. Not allowing your opponent to go for the pass that he wanted to do. Instead, he had to get the ball away. And Ohana was able to intercept. Marcel once again in the mix up front. A very dangerous trio. Marcel, Lukaku and Pogba is also playing very aggressive. There we have a pass to Matic. Well, he's dispossessed by Fellaini. Mkhitaryan fouled very close to the box. 18 minutes, 17 minutes actually to play. And this could be something crazy from Dr. Ohano once again. He's the surgeon of FIFA. He's the specialist of free kicks. There we go. That's what we've seen from him. Pogba actually creating the third goal for him. That might be it. With 13 minutes left on the clock, Dr. Ohano shows once again that he really is a master of free kicks. Just look at that beauty. One man faking, that's Pogba. Pogba then nailing the pass towards Marshall, who's just waiting at the penalty spot. 3-0. And for the first time today, Dr. Ohano is playing very dominantly. Romelu Lukaku once again. Brian creating open space. is not defending anymore. He has to take the risk. He has to score three goals if he wants to be the winner of the Legend Series FIFA. He has to score three goals within 12 minutes. And he's got the ball back. A long pass, but it's out of the pitch. Possession handed towards Dr. Ahano once again. Rojo now trying to defend but it's Mkhitaryan scoring even a fourth goal for Dr. Ahano and this will be sealing the deal. I just can't see a way around that. Marshall 
Ryan is still trying to get something out of this game. Oh, and even gets a nice dispossession in midfield. Lukaku trying to go for the pass to Bokba. And very slick move. But still not hitting the goal in this game. It has to be very unlucky for Brian. And I think this is a concession because they're not moving the ball a lot anymore. Ohano is still going for some passes. But yeah, that's a gentleman's agreement that this game is already over and I can understand that if I was Brian. He fought well all day long, really put on some nice performances. But in the end, it is going to be Dr. Ohano who's going to be your first ever winner of the Legend Series FIFA. Even scoring another one, this one, is for the fans, Mkhitaryan, with a very nice lob shot. 5-0. A scoreline of dreams. Brian looking to make it a 5-1. Two minutes of added time. That still have to be played. And then I will just walk out of Big Betty and hand over the trophy to the well-deserved winner of this first ever FIFA competition powered by ELC Gaming. Yeah, and there we go. The players all standing up. And I will just take the hand microphone. So, ladies and gentlemen, we've come to a conclusion. It is Dr. Ohano. He's going to be victorious in a very closely contested final against Brian Muyard from Belgium. But in the end, winning deservingly our player from Germany playing for the VFB Stuttgart. And even my boss came out to hand over the trophy. So, there you go. Congratulations, everybody. Also, congratulations for a nice second place. Great performance. Really enjoyed the show today. Brian, GG, was a pleasure watching you. Arhan, well-deserved, victorious. Show it to the people watching here, watching the stream as well. So, <laughs> congrats once again, and that will be closing off the show for today. I still hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any feedback for us, positive or negative, leave it in the comment section and we will enjoy ourselves in the VIP area upstairs.